they don't seem to worry about me. I'm sure that they do, but I don't. I don't think they understand at this point how dangerous this job is. My daughter actually has me write a little journal of, of interesting calls I get. They go to school until the other kids at school. She adds stuff to it, of course. Um, just the other day, she wrote. She wrote. A, I had a story about a guy that had shot a snake, and I told her that. She thought that was the coolest thing, and she wrote a long story about it. And my son, he wants to be a police officer. He says. We're en route to a call where a, uh, the complainant called the police to advise that her 15-year-old daughter has beat her up. Um, the operator that took the call, the 911 operator, said that it was a violent background. I heard a male in the background trying to detain the, the juvenile, so apparently she, the, she's trying to leave the scene and we're arriving on the scene right now, the area, see what's going on. Y'all call the police? What can I do for you? She told me she was going to a birthday party. Mm -hmm. And uh, next thing you know, her boyfriend's calling here, the one I told you about. Hi. Yes, ma'am. And next thing you know, I'm like, oh, so you're going to this birthday party to meet Dan? Oh, no, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, OK, I go in the house, finish eating, come out. I said, who are you talking to? She said, none of your business, bitch. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to tell you everything she said. None of your business. So I take the phone away from her, and he was standing right there because he followed me out here. She started pulling my hair. Pushing so that, and kicking. Yeah, pushing and kicking. Did she kick you? Yes, I got scratch marks yeah, there. I got right marks here. there. She tried to bite me look, right she there. She pulled the hair out of my head. I got I a bruise on my leg. I probably had a self-defense. I swear to God. Did you see what happened, sir? Yes, I did. Okay, if you can step over here, let me yep. talk to you a second. I swear to God. Can you tell what happened over they were standing right there. She mm -hmm. told her to give her the phone, mm -hmm. and she wouldn't give her the phone. So she grabbed the phone. That's all she did. Mm -hmm. And she was calling her bitch, slut, mm -hmm. whore, and everything. All right. Pulling her hair, kicking her. All right. Yeah. OK. Did she hit her back, or? No, she no. didn't. And then uh, they went in the bedroom, and she was just holding her down. She was pulling her hair and everything. OK. Well, OK. Was pulling her and who hair. are you to her? Uh, well, I'm like stepdad. You're the stepdad. You live here in the, in the family, in the yeah. household? Okay, I appreciate it. And you're, where are you injured at, ma'am? I got scratch marks there. I got okay. marks there. I got where she tried to bite. Well, you can't see it, but there's a bruise right there. She tried to bite me. Okay. I got, well, you can't see it, but there's a bruise right there. Okay. And she's sitting there calling me a bitch, slut, tramp, whore, you name it. And all I did was hold her down. Okay. I'm like, who are you talking to okay. your mother like this? Okay. Um, that 10, 15. came and got me yeah. at Let me see where your, I was um, at. Let me see your post. Turn around for me. I promise I didn't. Turn around for me. Oh Turn around for me. I promise I didn't hear Turn you first. Me. I promise I didn't hear you first. <laughs> Mom, I didn't hit you first. You both on my hair. <laughs> oh, my God. You ever been arrested? No. <laughs> Why are you lying on me? <laughs> Mom, you pulled my hair. Hey, we're not going to argue right here, okay? I promise I didn't pull her hair. Where's your own um, double lock? There it is. I promise, I swear to God and everything I love. And I have a witness because I was on the phone when she did it. I don't know how to work your cuss. Come okay, you're under arrest for battery domestic violence, okay? I didn't hit her. Okay. You need you to have a seat in the car? Here, there's the We don't need that. We don't need that. I need you to tell me what happened here tonight. When she came outside, she had like kind of an attitude with me, and I was on the phone with my friend Anthony. She's like, get off the phone, whatever, and she pulled my hair. I did not pull her hair first, because I know she would call the cops on me. OK. And that's the hair that she pulled out of my head, and I started walking up to the house. She said, you need to get inside. She started pushing me, and she pushed me hard right into bed. OK. And we got in the house or whatever, and she started cussing at me. And you know, I was mad. I cussed at her back. She got me on my bed, and laid, you know, had her hands on me, wouldn't let me up. Well, man, for right now, the witness is giving the same story as your mother, who is the victim, okay? She has several scratches and, and bite marks on her arm, okay? So I that, 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 
Okay, that justifies um, battery domestic violence and you're being arrested at this point for that, okay? And you know what else? She has the right to spank you. You're a child, she okay? Has. She has a right to push you inside the house and she has a right to grab a hold of you and take you and hold you down, okay? As long as she don't go too far, okay? But she has, she has a right to spank you. Only just because you're 15 years old. The only reason she has marks on, your, on her is because you were being disrespectful to her and you put your hands on her, okay? All right, Nicole, just hang tight, okay? You just ride with me down, okay? All right, I'll help you out. A lot of times in this situation, you, you'll wake up tomorrow morning and you'll feel bad for her and you'll, you'll want to drop charges or something like that. Oh, that that's, no. not, that's, not the, that's not the good thing to do because by, by us arresting her, we're not, we're not trying to, to hurt her or, or have her put in jail. We're oh. trying to get her help for you, okay? Believe we're trying to get her help for her problems and, and help you. Believe okay? me, I'm not going to feel any different in the morning. Okay. And I've, I've spoke to her, but I've tried to get her help before, and there's nothing I can do right. because she's asked me, you know, have you ever, has she ever been in trouble? See, that's the problem. She's never been in trouble. Right. Well, yeah. this is a good thing. Now now she'll go in front of a judge. A judge will see her see her face, and he, he'll be able to court order her into programs. Okay? Well, that's what I'm hoping. Good luck, ma'am. Thank you very okay. much.